decades. A famous artist making a stop in Grand Rapids today. His latest exhibit focuses on African-American women and their impact on the world. Fox 17's Matt Whitco shares how this exhibit is having an impact on young West Michigan minds. I really like inspired to be like this. I don't really know how to paint yet, but I inspired to be able to put like art in like museums and stuff. This is cool. Union High School ninth grader Tynes Kemp drawing on inspiration on a special field trip with her classmates at an exhibit inside Embassy Suites by Hilton. I was kind of excited because you know I don't I don't really know that much. Kemp took in the paintings and learned more about why painter John McDonald decided to focus on these strong African American women. She went on to create her own like basically school or something. Uh, based on her passion, so she didn't give up. That's crazy. I want them to ask questions because you want them to ask, who is this, why did you do her, what's this, what's that? Because that'll give them the inspiration to go after it themselves. They know they can achieve because these people have achieved and they look just like them. John McDonald has 20 pieces of artwork here. There's only one where he had to do it twice, and that was Brianna Taylor. He says he really wanted to capture her compassion. Try your best to make them have eye contact. And so most of these, you can see the faces are filling up the canvas or the board, and you want them to make eye contact, because when you make eye contact with someone, it changes things. It was at one moment Ty's experienced one of those changes. So I wanted to become an artist instead. And um, I'm really having a, a, like a, a bad time in art, so. It's really inspired me to keep going. In Grand Rapids, Matt Whitcoast, 